Hey there, welcome to Procon Gray. So recently I was moving homes and uh, in the process of clearing out cupboards, I came across a stack of old photographs. No, a literal stack of old photographs. Let me show you. Yeah, see, stack, well, technically stacks of old photographs. And normally when I come across say, some old family photographs, I would just take my smartphone and take a quick photo so that I digitize it and I keep it safe. But there's no way I can do that with, with so many photos. Plus, some of these photos are, are pretty old. So, like, this one and a few of the others I came across are 50 to sometimes 60 years old. Some of them are, are falling apart and I, I don't know how they lasted this long, but... Um, I know I need to digitize them in order to really uh, keep them for, for as long as I can, because in a lot of ways this is this is like a this is like a time capsule. You know, there's photos of my childhood, photos of my parents' childhood and uh, their parents before them, and uh, random family and the world round back in the 60s, 70s, 80s, and so on. So. Um, I was trying to think of what I could use, a smartphone and taking photographs of each, not just is that time consuming, it's also a little tricky because when you're trying to take a photograph of a photo, you always have to try and avoid glare, avoid shadow falling on the photograph, It's you never get a good result. Uh, I know that there's apps like uh, f uh, Photo Scanner and the like, but never really, uh, they're good for documents, but not necessarily great for photographs. So I thought, you know, I need something that's that's going to help me out here. That's when I bought this. Yeah. This is a full-blown flatbed scanner. It's the uh, Canon CanoScan LIDE 400. And gosh, it's, it's heavy and... Uh, oof. You know what, there's no time to unbox this, so I'll do that in a separate video. Let's just get straight to it. Yeah, so here we go. Uh, this is a Canon scanner. I like the looks, it's got this nice brushed metal look. It's, it's all plastic. It does feel a little flimsy, and I would be careful with this, but in general, it's, I think, more about function over form. Yeah, you got your scan scanning camera and interface and the like. Uh, so, what do I think about this? So this particular model, the uh, the 400 model, I bought it for about 5,500 rupees. I think the price has gone up since, but I think wait a while and it should go back down. It's um, It's got about a 4,800 DPI is, is the resolution which is twice as much as the cheaper model, which is the 300 model. And while you have better models that are purpose designed to scan multiple photographs in a batch, that was just way too expensive. And considering that I wouldn't come into the situation too often where I need to scan a hundred odd photographs, I think this is more than sufficient. So what I did is to test out this, uh, this particular scanner, I selected one of the really old photographs, which had this odd metallic type coating on top that made it oddly reflective. And uh, I struggled to get a good photo with my smartphone. So I thought, let's let's put that to the test here. Pretty impressed with the results. In fact, let me, let me show you that photograph. It should pop up somewhere around here. So it's pretty clear. Um, in fact, let's zoom in a little bit. And I'm just going to hopefully get the zooming in right. Let's let's zoom in a little bit. Yeah, these these guys, they mean business. In fact, let's let's zoom in a bit more. Yeah, let's zoom in. There we go. Pretty clear. Also the stuff of nightmares. Look, this guy, this guy means business. I would not want to mess with him. Um, but then again, this photo was taken 60 years ago, so I don't think I'll really have to. 
Yes, one point to note for those of you who buy this scanner, maybe similar scanners from Canon, they do ship with a installation CD, but my laptop, being a modern laptop, doesn't come with an optical drive. So uh, don't fear, all you need to do is uh, go to the website and download the drivers. So I think the site is just this Google IJ Canon manual or IJ manual Canon. I'll put a link for it in the description below. So once you land onto that site, select your OS version, download the uh, download the utility, which is the IJ scan utility. Once that's done, um, it's just pretty straightforward. When it prompts you, then on then and only then plug in the scanner to the to the laptop, and then go through the the standard installation prompts. You can play around with the settings, and um, you're good to go. So the fun part with this is. And I don't know how whether all scanners have this. I might be might be wrong, but this is very helpful. So it's got buttons on it that you can use to directly scan and copy and, and send files. So you don't need to use the uh, the laptop. All you need to do is keep it plugged in. Um, so when you want to make a scan, you can either hit the auto scan button on the scanner or use the utility and hit the scan there. Overall, I'm pretty happy with this. It's obviously the first scan I've owned, so I don't really have a frame of reference on quality. So, um, but seems okay to me. Yep. So on that note, I'm going to sign off. Thanks for joining me, my one viewer. And I will see you in the next one. Cheers.